about myself because, <laughs> you know, your girl likes to talk about herself, so. The, whatever this tag was called that I can't remember the name of, something about a booktube about me tag. Booktube about me tag! There we go, remembered. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a tag video. So this tag is called the booktube about me tag, originally created by Harriet Rose. Was not tagged by anybody, but I figured I've gotten a little bit of new subscribers lately, so hi guys, if you're new, how you doing, let's be friends, and if you are returning, then hi, let's be friends, because I probably haven't talked to you yet, so hi. So I figured I would tell y'all a little bit about myself, and also I don't really talk that much about things other than books, <laughs> and it is talking about books, but there's also questions not about books, so I'm like, mm, this could be fun. Without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first question is, what do you study and what is your job? I am currently in my third year of university for kinesiology and physical education. I'm hoping to become a gym teacher. It's gonna take a couple more years of schooling, but one day hopefully I will get there. My current job, I don't have one, but in the summer I work as a camp counselor. So I work with kids. That's my goal in the future too, so might as well get the experience now. But I love it, so there you go, that's my job. Question two is what is your favorite social media channel? I'm gonna say YouTube is my favorite just because I spend my most time on it, but recently I've been like loving Twitter. For like the booktube community, if you wanna follow me, it's like at the awkward book W because I couldn't fit worm in there because there's too many characters. So you know, hit me up on there. Right now I have six 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 followers, so <laughs> just just letting you know. I'm basically Satan. Question three is if you had another channel, what would it be about? Honestly, I don't know. I would probably just talk about whatever I wanted. Which, which I mean, like, I could technically do that on this channel if I really wanted to. And recently I've been thinking about making videos not all about books, but, like, I don't know if anybody would actually want to watch that. But I have a lot of opinions on a lot of things. So, if you'd be interested in me talking about random things, then let me know, because I will do it one day. If you haven't figured it out yet, I really like to talk. And just talking, just it just keeps coming out of my face. Even if it doesn't make any sense. Like, right now, I just it just keeps coming. So, I mean, it could be entertaining for you. I don't know. Question four is, do you play any instruments? No, I am so not musically talented in any way. I used to play the recorder in grade three and the trumpet in like grade seven and eight. I was in the band. Not that I was very good. I'm pretty sure they let everybody in the band, but besides the point, I was in there. Question five is, what hobbies do you have other than reading? See, like normally I would say basketball. But I haven't played basketball in quite a while, so I don't know if that counts anymore. Probably not, because I've, I'm on hiatus, but it's fine. We're getting through it slowly, but surely I just started intramurals for school, so technically I'm playing again. It's not good basketball, but it's something. I really like to bake, so if any of you want cookies, hit me up. Make you some cookies or some brownies. Or and yeah, basically all I do is read, so... Wow, I suck at these questions. Number six is favorite TV shows. I love the TV show 60 Days In. If you haven't heard of 60 Days In, I'm not surprised because a lot of people haven't. But it's basically where you take real life people and they put them in a jail for 60 days and they have to live in this jail and nobody knows that they're actually there for a TV show. And it's just like the things that go on in jail, guys. Like, no thank you, never want to go there, which is probably the point of that TV show. It's just, ugh, no, it's terrifying, but like, so addictive. I also really like Beyond Scared Straight, which is basically the same thing, but they take like little kids and put them in jail and they're like, here in jail for a day because you're troubled. Clearly I just like seeing people thrown in jail, but it's super entertaining. Question seven is what got you into reading? Honestly, I have no idea. I did read a lot in middle school. That was like, I loved reading in middle school. And then I got to high school and I didn't read at all. Like, I would read like one book, like every year, and unless it was like books that I had to read for school. Like I didn't do it for enjoyment. And I finished high school and I took a year off or I had half a year off or something, and that's when I started my channel, and that's when I really started to read, because there was like this huge sale in a store in Toronto. They shut down, so all their books were like really cheap, so my mom took me there, and I got like a million gajillion books from there, and then the collection grew, and ever since then, I've been reading like crazy. Question number eight is, what is your favorite and least favorite genres? My favorite genre is thriller. A lot of people think it's YA. It's not YA, it's thriller. I love thriller books so dang much. I find them so entertaining. I just, yes. My least favorite would probably be like nonfiction, but I mean like, that's like your typical answer. So like I'm gonna say it's nonfiction. But I'm also gonna throw in high fantasy. I like fantasy books, but high fantasy, it just, they're so long and they confuse me and I don't have the attention span to actually pay attention to what's going on in the story. And if I can't pronounce names of characters, which is what I find 
find in all high fantasy books. I can't say it. It pisses me off and I get really frustrated and don't want to read the books. Question nine is what books define your childhood? I'm probably going to say Winnie the Pooh. That was like a big one. I love me some Winnie the Pooh. Naughty Goes to Toyland. Have you guys read Naughty Goes to Toyland? Those are some good books, man. Naughty was great. And also the Pixie Tricks series by Tracy West. Also, great series. If you like fairies and pixies, that's your series. I don't know if they make them anymore. Anytime I'm asked this question, I say the exact same three books because just love them. <gasps> Junie B. Jones. Oh my god. Do you guys remember Junie B. Jones? I loved those books. And Captain Underpants. Oh my god, I need to make a video about my childhood books because like, now that I'm thinking about it, I have so many. And question 10 is tell us an interesting fact about you. Man, I'm not an interesting person. I don't have an interesting fact. I'm six feet tall, like exactly six feet tall, 183 centimeters. It's not that interesting, but like it's precisely 183, so that's kind of cool. I can shake my eyes. I don't know if a lot of people can do that. I feel like it's probably not that impressive, but it's a cool party trick and people usually freak out about it. You want to see it? You want to see it? I'll show you. So are you ready? See, they shake. It's like a cool party trick. Ooh, I also cannot do... The thing with your tongue where you make it like a little hot dog, like you curl your tongue. I'm the only one in my family who can't do that, so clearly I'm adopted. I also can't do the like four leaf clover one. Literally, I can't do anything with my tongue. What that mouth do? Nothing. It does nothing but eat and shovel food into its face. That's about it. I'm gonna stop giving facts about myself because nobody cares. Alright, guys, so that was the booktube about me tag. I hope you know a little bit more about me. I don't know if you actually cared, but it was fun to film because I talk a lot. There's another interesting fact. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Also, I tag everybody watching this video. I'm tagging Alyssa from Pucks and Paperbacks, Amanda from Read All Dem Books, Abby from Hardback Hoarders, uh, Magical Molly, obviously, because I tag her in everything, Clara from Clara Reads Books, uh, Peter from Peter Likes Books, uh, I'm just thinking of people off the top of my head, and I tag Let's Talk Books, and I tag everybody. I'm just tagging everybody, okay? You're all tagged. I'll leave all your links down below, but like, tag your it. Do it. Thank you. Ooh, Megan from Megan Precourt. Okay, I'm gonna stop naming names now. You're all tagged, so please do it. Okay, guys.